What is up, everybody on YouTube land? It's your boy, the Amavis XL. Right? Coming at you live with another episode of Who Says Karibos Cannot Win? Where I take my Karibo deck and I dig it against whatever YGO Pro throws at me. Today, we've got a couple really good replays. We got ourselves Curry Synchro versus Generate Evil Eye, as well as Curry Fusion versus Scyframe. So, it's going to be an interesting episode. And as always, if you like this series, hit the like button to keep it on going. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through this video and uh, commentate on the duel. Generate start with their field spell and a designator. Pretty good start right there. Along with the generate battle. So he's all set and he's got himself a sword. So he just gets to pop anything I put out at him. So I'm just going to have to be smart about it. I got my hand right here. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to set Wing Karibo. Just bait out his things. I got the draw card. Yes, he'll be able to do some damage, but I'm thinking in the long term. I'll take the damage while I can take it. I need Karibo for plays later. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to Ancient Rules, bring out Labradorite Dragon. And I'm going to go ahead and do a Synchro of Samurai Destroyer. Because Samurai Destroyer, if he's destroyed, he can just come right back. So basically, Sword is useless at this point. So I'm just going to beat into the Sword, and he's going to take some damage. It's just a little bit of damage, but it's damage nonetheless. He's got his Pot of Extravagance. I'm going to banish a whole bunch of his cards. Whole bunch of his, almost all Link monsters. Now that's some crazy business there. So now he's going to get another sword out, and he's going to just fill the board with tokens once more. I could kaiju him at whatever point, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep beating up the sword, because soon he'll be out of swords. Not sure why he didn't try to at least pop me, but, you know, he could have at least tried to pop the set guard. Regardless, he's banishing even more cards, and now all he's got is a bunch of things he can't do much with. But he's going to trap trick, he's going to get artifact sanctum. That way he can artifact me and do all sorts of crazy stuff. So, as soon as I am going to be doing done is my battle phase, if that is proper English. If not, who cares? I'm just going to attack him one more time, and now he's got his evil eye stuff. So he's going to switch gears into evil eye territory. And he's going to get Sire Zeal, which means he's going to be popping my stuff. Because he's got Snake Man, and he's got the evil eye to pop my samurai. I'll try the samurai out, but he's going to designate me. I figured as much would happen. But such is what I had to try and do. And so Curry Border jumps out to get me some light points back. Very nice. And so at this point, he's going to go ahead. He has to block, pop one of his own cards. And he's going to Sanctum me. That way he gets out the Soif. And he's going to pop his Sanctum so that he gets, well, he gets nothing. Because, you know, timing and all that good stuff. So he's going to get an Impermanence. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to sit. Because it's a Scythe. I can't summon anything from the extra deck this turn, so I'm just like, okay, I'll just sit on Waboku. Because at least that way, I don't have to waste a turn, and I can now summon from the extra deck. So first off, give him a turtle, give myself a spider, go for Scarlight, because he has the most attack in my extra deck. Beat up the turtle, so now he can't pay the life points for his eye Selene. And yes, he will transience me, but that was the plan. I wanted him to hit me with that. So now it's all up to him. He's got a board, he's got generates back, and he's going to go ahead and bring out this thing. Gorgon, the queen. I tried to negate it. Unfortunately, he had another call by the grave, so I wasn't able to. So he's going to just start negating his things, or negating my things. But he misplays because now he loses life points from his own evil eye. So that, that's one way to destroy yourself, my dude. So, yeah, th there was a pretty clear bench of, you know, overreaching with the evil eye. It was a good plan. He just didn't have the life points to do that plan. So, that's the first replay. Good on you, Mr. Mike. Uh, I liked our revenge duel where he destroyed me, but th that's neither here nor there. Let's go for the other duel we got today. All right, the second opponent. We are got our Karibos, our Relink Karibos, etc., etc. We're having side frames. One of the most annoying decks of them all. So my opponent's immediately going to reveal his hand that he is playing side frames with this overload. So I'm like, I know how to handle that. I just set a monster. That way he can't do nothing. Granted, this hand isn't the greatest anyway. But uh, regardless, he's just going to set an awakening so he can bring out Lambda. And I'm just going to beat into him with Karibo. Or at least that's what I think I'm going to do. He's going to go ahead and side frame circuit. I'm like, I'm going to relink fusion now, and I'm going to fusion summon now, thank you. So I'm going to go ahead and make my Millennium Eyes Restrict. This is the thing that's going to stop everything he's got. So I'm going to go ahead and use fusion to steal Lambda, so now that he, at this, he can't use another Lambda. 
And so basically, Millennium Minds of Strix is basically just the anti Cyframe, because he's going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep equipping his Beta, so now he can't use Beta's effect. And he's pretty much dead at this point, because none of his effects will work. He is pretty much screwed. What is this? This only works on spells. He can't use Beta anymore. I can just keep hitting him for 2400 damage. That's just how it is. Restrict. Pretty dang good. And I'm just going to be like, I'm going to use my Illusionist. Steal your other monster. No link climbing for you today, sir. So now I'm going to go ahead and battle with Monju so I can get rid of that to do some damage. And again, you can't use Beta. So that's, I don't know what you kept doing that then, poor man. And this is the point where he immediately surrenders, because he had nothing. He had pretty much nothing. He couldn't do anything. So, Millennium Ice Restrict worked fine. I didn't get to do as much Karibo stuff as I wanted with this one, but I, I had a Karibo in there, so technically it counts. So, uh, I hope you guys liked these replays today. I hope very much you did. Smash like if you did, as like I said, keep the channel, the uh, series going. And uh, also, let me know what you thought of these replays in the comments, of course. I always like the commentary from the Peanut Gallery. Not that I think of you as a Peanut Gallery or anything. Anyway, thank you guys for watching very much. I'll see you guys again next time with more Karibo Duels. This is your boy Memphis signing out. Take care, everybody.